we have some pretty embarrassing news for Kanye, to be honest. Probably one of the most embarrassing things he's probably had to go through. And this is courtesy of TMZ. And it says, Kanye West, um, hey, Sketchers, got room for me, shows up uninvited at the headquarters. This is obviously off the back of what happened with Adidas, where they officially came out and severed all ties with Kanye to the point where they said, with the, with the immediate effect, they were pulling all Yeezy product from their stores. Then various people who worked in various stores were basically sharing information that they were getting phone calls from people in the Adidas HQ to, to basically reiterate that point of view and that they wouldn't give him any understand. They wouldn't give him any, you know, um, news or updates in terms of what they were going to do next. Like what was happening after that? Were they going to, you know, sell the product in other places? Was it going to go into, you know, um, outlets and stuff? They just said, no, just get it all off of our shelves and our shop floors. We don't want it anywhere. Sorry, we don't get, get them off your shop floors. We don't want that guy representing our brand in any slightest way whatsoever. And the really harsh part about it is that Adidas, for the most part, his collaboration with Adidas, with the Easy Line, was kind of made up I think the majority of his kind of billionaire status that he was hanging his hat on and that he was kind of reminding people about every single turn and now without it those projections don't look as good because you know you can only imagine if you're Forbes and you're trying to work out if someone's going to be a billionaire or not it's pretty easy when it comes to Kanye because all you got to do is look at past performance of Yeezy in terms of what they've done in the quarter and then look at what they've kind of been specking out for the future in terms of other models other silhouettes um, other areas they want to explore and it's only an upward trajectory right it, it, hopefully God you know um, God willing everything goes to plan in terms of people's health and stuff but it looks like an upward trajectory so it's it's pretty easy to draw the line between someone being a multi-millionaire and obviously going up to the multi-billionaire also but now that the Adidas deal is gone and he's essentially on his own having to fund all these things it kind of puts a huge dent on his finances because it's all well and good having 200 million 400 million in a bank but once you have to start manufacturing your own things to this level especially when it comes to footwear and I've heard from people who are way more versed in this than I am that footwear is the hardest hardest industry to get into um, because of how expensive it is to set up in terms of your molds and all that kind of stuff and production and manufacturing it's just not an easy thing to do so the link up with Adidas was basically a dream for him because you get access to their factories access to all their manufacturing type things actress access that you wouldn't normally have on your own and then essentially all you do is press a button and they make the thing for you you don't have to you know go through all the steps that you'd have to go through if you're a kind of independent person so him to show up at sketches is definitely it feels like a, a really desperate attempt to try to hold on to that billionaire status because I can't imagine any other scenario in my head or in the world that would make sense for Kanye to go to Skechers to try and ask them for a collab because it's a brand that you don't associate with Kanye in the slightest. Maybe this is a Ian Connor idea because he was kind of joking and sort of like, you know, wanting to um, get linked up with Skechers to do a collab. Or maybe he did end up doing it, but for the longest time, he was kind of trying to push the whole Skechers vibe and it didn't obviously take off because they're awful shoes. Um, but it's just it's just sad to see the story that this has essentially happened that he went there and invited to try and get a deal done and if you don't believe it Sketches themselves put out an official press release with his name in the fucking title and it says Sketches issue statement on Kanye West's unauthorized visit um, the, the, yeah Sketches USA the technology company stated Kanye West also referred to as Ye arrived unannounced and without invitation to one of Sketch's corporate offices in Los Angeles. Considering Ye was engaged in unauthorized filming, two Sketch's executives exalted him and his party from the building after a brief conversation. Sketch's is not considering and has no intention of working with West. We condemn the recent divisive remarks and do not tolerate anti-Semitism in any other form or hate speech. The company would like to again stress that West showed up unannounced and un invited to Skechers corporate offices that's them clearly telling you we want nothing to do with him because there's a bit here that kind of makes me think hmm maybe there's an opportunity for him to go back under the right circumstances in an official capacity when they said something along the lines of um uh the, when they said something along the lines of Ye was engaged in unauthorized filming right it makes me think <laughs> it makes me think that maybe if he didn't start filming that he would have a chance to speak to the right people there. But they're clearly saying that the filming was just one part that kind of led to him being escorted off the premises. But even if he didn't film and he came in with a full hat or whatever, with a full suit and a hat in hand, they still want to want him in the building. I know. Which is absolutely crazy. But the funny thing is, if I'm not mistaken, two of the founders of Sketches are 
Jews, like, you know, legit Jewish people, whatever that means in my head, but he just probably picked the wrong place. And again, knowing Kanye, no research prior, no reading, or maybe there was, maybe that was a whole point. Let me go and show people that I'm not anti-Semitic by going to do a collaboration with um, sketches who are run by two prominent Jewish guys. I don't know, maybe that was a whole point, but this is the postcard to TMZ. It says Kanye is making a quick return. Um, it's a quick return is making a quick move to find a new home for his ET shoes. He and Sketch's headquarters to talk with the company's honchos, but immediately got turned away. So also familiar with the ASA, he tells us that he was at the company's main office on Wednesday morning in Manhattan Beach, California, but this was not scheduled meeting with the management. Sketches say he arrived unannounced and without invitation, corporate offices in Los Angeles, considering he was engaged in authorized filming, two Sketches executives escorted him off. And you can see two of the founders there, Michael and Robert, it says now we don't know if, if um, Kanye did his research or not but Sketches is owned and operated by a Jewish family Robert Greenberg had founded it and his son Michael is currently the president considering it's rampant anti-Semitism you could say he bucked up the wrong tree so maybe this was a ploy altogether to kind of you know get back in the good graces with the Jewish community by doing a collaboration with Sketches I really do doubt it I just think he tried to go for a brand that wasn't obvious and a brand that maybe he could kind of you know pull up by its bootstraps and sort of take it to a next level on his own single-handedly so he could basically stick it to Adidas for for basically letting him go and remind people of the Nike dude that he never got blah 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 same sort of conversation but I still think this is ridiculously embarrassing this is the picture of him um uh, this is a picture someone posted on TMZ it looks like Kanye was in Manhattan bread and bagel in Manhattan Beach on the Wednesday we're told Kanye was with a friend who ordered some food for them and they sat at a table in the corner of the shop so he's about out and about but he's very quiet though he's not really been saying as much as he was prior um, you can definitely tell that that flipping the Adidas deal taking that away the schools closing all these other companies back in a way is definitely going to be hurting him going forward but I'm still a sucker a real big sucker for a redemption story i still want to see him kind of come back up again and claw himself up again it's really unlikely it's going to happen especially anytime soon with all these people kind of backing away because you don't become a billionaire on your own you need to do it in collaboration with others um you need to kind of work in tandem with them to kind of make that happen and if everybody's running away from you and thinks you're bad for business it's pretty difficult to be like a you know a, i don't say self-made but just on your own billionaire you definitely need people's help and assistance so let's see what happens going forward interested to see how it develops but i still think this is incredible incredibly embarrassing if you're a carny to get turned away by sketches you might as well get turned away by fucking umbro or something or diodora it's like jesus christ man horrendous horrendous horrendous